chief of the Redwood City Police. <laughs> Two quick observations. One, how do you follow that? <laughs> Two, Robin still doesn't do what the Popo tell her to do. <laughs> She's just on our side now, so she just made it easier for us. Good evening, everybody. My name is Dan Walholland. I'm the Chief of Police of the Road City Police Department. <laughs> giving me the opportunity uh, to say a few words uh, tonight and support Street Life Ministries. Um, I have members of my staff that are here as well. You heard uh, mention of our downtown uh, services unit and the great work that they do in our uh, downtown core of Redwood City where there are many uh, interactions with those that are suffering uh, from mental illness or are uh, unhoused or have need for uh, services beyond what the police department can uh, provide. I just want to introduce him real quick. Uh, Sergeant Judson Lee is here. He is responsible for two of his April, so I've really had a chance to see how the city has changed. Um, I have a lifelong connection uh, to this community, lifelong, or uh, uh, I've been employed with this organization for my entire uh, adult life, and it's really an honor for me to continue to serve uh, this community and all of you in my new capacity as, as Chief of Police. I, I really appreciate uh, the opportunity to, uh, to speak with you tonight. Really what I wanted to touch upon is just a couple of things. One, what I've seen uh, Street Life do in our community from a pro uh, professional perspective, and one what I've seen from a, a, a personal perspective. Professionally, I, I tell people all the time, the Roman City Police Department's uh, delivery of public safety services is a partnership. And that's a partnership um, that we have with the community, uh, with organizations uh, like Street Life Ministries and Life Moves. Um, we're able to magnify what we can do uh, together and better serve our community. But that, that relationship just doesn't happen. Um, it's built upon trust. It's built upon connectivity. It's built upon familiarity. And the way we build that trust and the way we build that uh, connectivity is through organizations such as Street Life. They are inroads to us, to members of our community that are um, food insecure that are uh, suffering from mental illness or um, substance abuse. It's really tough for us to come up in uniform and start to have a conversation and effectively deliver, serv uh, deliver service to someone if that trust is not there. Um, and we've seen that for a number of years, but uh, through the work that Dave and his staff has done, he's been able to lower those barriers of, uh, to communication, build that trusting relationship, start to bridge the gap, uh, with those community members that, that need that support, and then we're able to partner with them. And then that trust builds on further to where uh, Dave talked about having business cards, being able to call at odd, uh, at odd hours, and, and, and really challenging cases, being able to get a representative from Street Life out to help us with um, cases where, in situations where it really exceeds what our capacity is. Uh, we're exploring new programs now. Early the tried and true method it is represented right here tonight um, with the program uh, that we're all supporting through Street Life Ministries. From a personal perspective, my wife and I volunteer and uh, our kids have helped out with uh, excuse me, meal services. We've seen um, the impact that your donations have, um, the kind words that are offered, the hot meals, the provisions, uh, maybe some basic um, hygiene supplies, or maybe a new pair of so shoes or socks. Um, tremendous impact uh, that um, I've seen personally in this community. Uh, and it's all because of the, the great support that Street Life receives from all of you. The way you can support, uh, Dave stole my thunder a little bit earlier, you talked about your time, your talent, 
uh, in your treasures. Those three T's are obviously ways that you can help with your time. If you've got a chance to uh, drive uh, a vehicle to support or cook some meals, um, do something in that way to, to come out and serve. Um, you know, a little bit of that goes such a long way to further the mission of Street Life Ministries. Um, with your talent, if, you, if you've got a great skill set in, in speaking with uh, people and providing uh, a kind word or, or a, a kind hand on someone during a difficult time or cooking for them, that helps as well. And, and you look at your treasures as well. That's what they're looking for uh, tonight and, and providing that support. And you may think, well, you know, what do I have? How much do I have? How much can I support? Well, don't worry about uh, how much or how little that you have. Every bit that you can donate and support this organization goes a long way. Don't worry about what you can do um, individually or at a personal level. God's gonna take whatever donation that you can make and turn it into something spectacular. Recently, yeah. recently at, uh, at church we talked about how um, you know we're used uh, in such a way to further the kingdom of God through the skill sets that we have. And you don't know what that skill set might be. Stretch yourself and figure out what it might be. Um, we know in, in John chapter 6 where Jesus took, you know, four or five loaves of bread and two small fish and he ends up feeding 5,000 people. Well, guess what you can do with just a couple of bucks here? Yeah. 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 We talked to Dave uh, tonight. You might be thinking, you know, what, what, what can I do um, if uh, I've only got a couple of bucks? Um, You'd be shocked. A dollar and fifty cents will provide a meal for a fam uh, for uh, a person in this community that's in need. And if you don't think that dollar fifty goes a long way, I challenge you to come out on a night where that meal is being served to a hungry person in this community and see for yourself the difference that that dollar and fifty cent makes for a member of this community that needs help. <coughs> I have a challenge that I make, uh, and, and these officers have, have, have probably heard it before. Um, and uh, I really I, I sit down with every member of the organization that, that comes through. We have a we have a chat when they first come in. Um, it's a it's a thing that I do also uh, when we have a swearing in ceremony because I I, I challenge the members uh, the, of the community that come in uh, and sit in and take part of that uh, service. And it's a common theme. Each one of us is uniquely positioned to make um, a positive impact in someone's life, and it doesn't have to be anything grand. It could be a buck fifty, maybe one night uh, to give a hot meal for somebody. It could be um, a kind word said to someone uh, during a, a particularly challenging time. Um, it could be just trying to lift uh, someone up and help them get through um, a particular uh, troubling time that they have. It doesn't take much. Um, it could be a total stranger. It could be someone you just met here tonight. Uh, it could be uh, a family member, a classmate, a co-worker, it doesn't have to be anything uh, big or grand, just the simplest little thing. And I truly think uh, this world would be a better place, this community would be a stronger community if we just focused on just the little things that we can do. But you gotta have your eyes open to that. You've gotta look for that. Um, you can't just pass on by when there's somebody in need. Think about that dollar fifty that might be rattling around in your pocket and what you could do with that to make it life-changing. Um, meal for someone because that might be just a day uh, where they get something to eat to feed them on the inside but they'll also get the word and, and that'll feed their soul and kind of set them up for uh, eternal salvation because something that they would hear uh, from so that's a challenge that i want to leave you with tonight look for those ways uh, that you can really benefit uh, somebody else, make a positive difference. Um, in the book of Matthew, it talks about even with uh, giving someone a cup of cold water uh, will bring a blessing. Uh, so again, simple things that you can do each and every day to support someone else. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Street Life. Thank you, Life Boots, uh, for what you do. And thanks all of you um, for the support that you give. I ask that you dig deep. Uh, and do what you can. Give cheerfully to be able to support this organization. I guarantee you're going to get back so much more uh, than what you're going to give to somebody. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dan. Wow. 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 That was, thank you so much, Dan. So, wow, I don't even know what to say. That was, that was really powerful.
I just want you to say, just want to say really quick, one of the things is we're running late, so we're, we're not going to do any more breaks. We're just going to run straight through because I don't want to hold you guys all hostage. Well, kind of, sort of, but not really. But, um, but Dan, Shelly, thank you guys so much. This is, this is what I'm talking about, folks. This is the kind of community that we live in. Because of that leadership and what, what comes out of that leadership, we have, we have a city that really is united. We really do. We have a lot of folks, men and women, that really do help. We have the River City Police Department. They come and they serve in the ministry on their own personal time, and they also work with us. And it's just a beautiful... Thank you so much for what you just shared, Dan. That's amazing. Um, I know... I know Dan and Shelly don't like to be gloated over. I, I know that, so I'm just going to gloat over them anyway. But uh, their family every Christmas serves. Uh, and it's it's a beautiful thing to watch this whole family come down and serve our folks on the street. And uh, because of that, it just it just shows that there's this other side, right? And it's a beautiful side. And that's that's what that's what you were talking about, is that side that we need to, to share with all of our community out there. And thank you guys for everything you do. You guys are amazing.